seven day. This is according to the Health Cabinet Secretary Cecilia Karioke. Moreover, the infrastructure and equipment of the hospital has already been installed in sections such as the Reno and Accident and Emergency Department will be running then. The Cabinet Secretary of Health, Sisi Likarioki, today toured the expansive 8 billion shilling referral hospital at Kenyatta University to inspect the completion and final touches to officially open the hospital on Monday, the 28th of October. The hospital has a bed capacity of 600 and according to the CS, the sections of accident and emergency, Reno and oncology will be open to the public. The main goal is to decongest the National Referral Hospital, KNH, which has a bed capacity of 1,800, but takes in 700,000 inpatients and 600,000 outpatients. Once we open the door uh, to Kenyans, we will be operating at full capacity um, in our emergency, uh, accident and emergency department. I'm also very happy to note that we will be able to operate at 50% capacity of the oncology uh, inpatient department. We will be able to operate at 100% of the oncology department uh, for daycare. However, the conflict between the university management and the national government over the hospital management has been resolved. And according to the board's chair, Olive Mugenda, the hospital is focused on providing excellent health care. We are ready. We hope, as the CS said, to have our first patients next week. And then after that, uh, of course, we will, with the guidance of the CS, we will know how to open the office of officially, but the patients, we should have them next week. Professor Muganda added that the community has been sensitized on the importance of the hospital, but remains under the government project. President Uhuru Kenyatta is expected to launch the hospital coming week. Over to trade, the Kenyan-Russian delegations.